Okay, I'm going to try in two minutes or less to explain the workflow of Notability in Shobi. I'm going to show you a very simple use of Notability, very substitution level. You'll notice in the notes uh, below this that I added some augmented ways to use Notability in Shobi. However, I thought it best to start simple. So if I had students um, just editing and annotating a PDF file that they downloaded from my website, and now I wanted to collect that assignment, um, so this is all done in Notability. Now I'm going to have them put it into Shobi. And prior to them putting this into Shobi, I will have had entered my students into a Shobi class, and I will have had um, an assignment created for them to drop their uh, Notability assignment into. So they're going to click on Open In, using paper, choosing the format paper, Open Note In, and then it goes to Open In Shobi. And again, you can see here that um, I have all my students set up. I also have all my assignments set up here that I want them to be putting in. And I have each class set up. So in, for instance, in Welch Hour 1, here's all the assignments. And here's all the kids that have turned something into that assignment. So they will choose the assignment that they want to upload to and they will click upload and it will just drop it right into Shobi. Then as a teacher, I can go in, when I see these attachments, I can say, okay, Cole did it, let's check what he has done, and I can check out what he's done, give him some feedback. There's several ways I can give him feedback, and um, that's a way I can view digital content turned in via iPad.